Well, we always have some interesting topics uh, to discuss discuss with uh, the doc from Utrog. Uh, weird things happening in the soil that <laughs> we don't know what's happening, but it impacts on, on how our gardens grow. Now, this week, the doc is going to be talking about uh, what uh, some of us see as fungi, but are in fact water moulds. Eh? G'day, Huey. What are we, where are we going with this one, mate? <laughs> yeah, good morning, Graham. Yeah. Well, there's a couple of really major diseases which cause huge losses, not only in, in agriculture, but also in your home garden, and, and that's uh, Pythium and, and Phytophthora. Oh, yeah. So, they're shockers. Yeah. That's right, and so most people think they're fungi, and they do have some resemblance to fungi because they have that filamentous growth habit, but they're actually very different, both genetically and in their cell structure. So they're known as oomycytes or water moulds, and although they're lumped together with fungi and the slime moulds, they're actually not true fungi. And a very good example is downy mildew, which is caused by an oomycyte, whereas powdery mildew is actually caused by a fungi. They're both described as fungal diseases. Jeez, I didn't know that. Hmm. I've learned three things there in one paragraph. What's the different? Why is this difference so important? Well, it's different. It's important because the difference between fungi uh, pathogens and OMI, such as Apithium and Phytophthora, is that some of those antifungal agents don't actually work against them. Of course they don't. Which the, huh. Yeah, which is one of the main reasons why it's so hard to treat. So you have these pathogens in your garden, you need to consider which fungicide you use. So often you need to use a combination of fungicides that these pathogens are natural resistant or have developed resistance. And then, you know, there's many chemicals to treat fungi, but only about 20% of them actually are effective against these oomycytes. And most of them are not really available for the home gardener. No, so, okay. No, I, I realise that because uh, I used to be in commercial greenkeeping and the like. We had access to napalm and everything. What, what can home gardeners do then? Well, you can still go down that chemical route. For, for lawns, there are options along those lines. But obviously, prevention is better than cure. And there's a number of bacteria and uh, beneficial fungi which actually help to control things like Pythium and Phytophthora. And these include some of the ones we talked about a few weeks ago, such as Trichoderma, which we're currently working with at Western Sydney University. Yeah, brilliant. Bacteria, yep. So a bacteria such as Streptomyces, we spoke about them a couple of weeks ago too, about how useful they are in the soil. So you want to encourage that diversity of fungi and bacteria so you end up with that natural control agent in your soil. And the best way to do that is, of course, use organic matter. Make sure it's well composted so you don't introduce any undesirable organisms into your garden. For me, I love hu flung dung. It's the best. Yeah, you can use it as a mulch, but I also dig it into the soil as a way of getting some of that organic matter into, say, clay or sandy loam in my vegetable patch. So, you know, hu flung dung, it's just more than a mulch. It's really that soil rejuvenator. Yeah. I, I, look, honestly, I'm going through uh, bags of it at the moment. It's just the best mulch. So many of the plant diseases we think of, uh, listeners, uh, that we think are fungal are, in fact, not true fungi at all. Now, biological tr- control is certainly a great, a great start to achieve this. So if you're using hooflung dung as a mulch and a way to add uh, really organic matter to your soil as well. Now, the hooflung dung is available at Bunnings, uh, other hardware outlets, and, of course, all good garden centres and intelligent garden and nurserymen <laughs> have got it as well. It's just a brilliant product. Uh, it's the weirdest name, but I think it's one of the best products <laughs> that these nibs has ever created. And uh, I'm glad to hear he's he's uh, a lot better, uh, a lot better, and uh, you give him my regards. It's lovely to chat to you too, uh, Doc. It, it's uh, that's great information. No worries, Graham. I'll pass that on to Angus. Thank yes. you, pal. All the best. Isn't that amazing? So I've been around doing this for a long time. I didn't realise it was that different, but I know how nasty Pythium and Phytophthora can be. So if you've got organic uh, stuff happening in your soil, they tend to control it. Brilliant. Austral Club.